Bufrinali Prepare by S. M. Afrinali, BS, MSc in Engineering, MEP Complete Design Data in Google Drive Link available in Description Box HVAC Basics Air Conditioner Plus Air Handler Matched Systems Heat Pump Plus Air Handler Matched Systems Air Conditioner Plus Furnace Matched Systems Heat Pump Plus Furnace Matched Systems Central Heating Plus Cooling Humidifiers Sizing Systems what does an air handler do? Matched in capacity and efficiency rating with the air conditioner, air handlers circulate conditioned air throughout your home. An air handler contains an inside coil and a blower fan, with the additional possibility of an auxiliary electric strip heater. Train air handlers are available with single or variable speed motors. Variable speed models are known for soft starts, high humidity control features and 12 selectable levels of airflow capacity, as well as the enhanced comfort mode, the comfort or airflow system. What does a heat pump do? Unlike a furnace, a heat pump doesn't burn fuel to make heat. It simply uses electricity to move heat from one place to another. A heat pump is an energy-efficient way to cool your home in the summer and heat it in the winter. What does a furnace do? Trained furnaces are uniquely designed to provide maximum heat with minimum fuel usage. And they think for themselves. Key furnace control functions are integrated into one microelectronic system that monitors the thermostat and gas valve, ensuring precise temperature control. What does a heat pump do? Unlike a furnace, a heat pump doesn't burn fuel to make heat. It simply uses electricity to move heat from one place to another. A heat pump is an energy-efficient way to cool your home in the summer and heat it in the winter. How an air conditioner works The air conditioner in a central heating and cooling system provides cool air through ductwork inside your home, by providing a process that draws out the warm air inside. Removing its heat. In a split system, the compressor condenses and circulates the refrigerant through the outdoor unit, changing it from a gas to a liquid. The liquid is then forced through the indoor evaporator coil or cooling compartment. The indoor unit's fan circulates the inside air to pass across the evaporator fins. The evaporator's metal fins exchange the thermal energy with the air around it, there, the refrigerant turns from liquid into vapor, removing any heat from the surrounding air. As the heat is removed from the air, the air is cooled and blown back into the house. From that point, the condenser or outdoor unit then turns the refrigerant vapor back into a liquid, removing any heat. By the time the fluid leaves the evaporator again, it is a cool, low-pressure gas, eventually returning to the condenser to begin its trip all over again. This process continues again and again until your home reaches the cooling temperature you want, as programmed and sensed by your thermostat setting. Heat pump in all electronic applications. The heat pump may consume less energy than an electric furnace or air handler with an added electric heater accessory. Why? Because it can deliver the same amount of BTUs as electric heaters, using less electrical input. In moderate climates the savings that natural gas yields may not be as advantageous as in colder climates, since there is less frequent use of the furnace in milder climates. Of course, the heat pump can be matched with a gas furnace where preferred. The heat pump is effective by itself down to temperatures around 25 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. At that point, either a gas furnace or an air handler with supplemental electric heat will kick in and help heat your home. Central heating Central heating systems have a primary heating appliance, such as a furnace, typically located in your basement or garage. All furnaces consist of four main components, one, burners that deliver and burn fuel, two, heat exchangers, three, a blower, and four, a flue that acts as an exhaust for gaseous byproducts. Depending on your situation, region and needs, you can choose from heating systems running on either gas or oil as fuel, or a hybrid packaged system that can use both fuel types. How central heating works Combustion gases are generated by the burners in your furnace and pass through a heat exchanger. Air from your home blows across the heat exchanger to be warmed. 
It is then blown through a system of ducts to distribute around your home. During warm seasons your heating system works with your central air conditioning. Air is cooled as it's blown over your air conditioning unit's cooling coil, often attached to the air circulating fan of the furnace and then sent through the same air ducts throughout your home. Your local train comfort specialist TM can help you decide which central cooling and heating system is right for you. Train matched systems can be customized with cooling and heating units that match your situation and let you choose from a range of energy efficiency. How a humidifier works The humidifier unit uses a humidity sensing control that cycles the humidifier on and off in a water panel that adds water vapor to the circulated air when needed. Relative humidity is the amount of moisture in the air expressed as a percentage of the maximum amount that the air is capable of holding at a specific temperature. In dry air conditions, the sensor tracks that percentage and adjusts the amount of added water vapor, in your skin the moisture it needs and helping to keep any personal belongings, such as wood floors, furnishings, and keepsakes, from drying out. In essence, it's one more way train makes your home more comfortable all year long. Explore the components of a ductless system Installing a ductless system is not only easy, but it allows for flexibility in where you deliver heating and cooling in your home without the use of ductwork. An outdoor unit is placed outside your home often at ground level but not always and is connected to an indoor unit by small cables in a refrigerant line through a hole in the wall. The indoor unit is typically mounted high on the wall of the room and can be preset to run automatically or be adjusted by a remote control. Mini Split versus Multi-Split Ductless Systems The Mini Split Ductless System controls one room or zone by connecting one outdoor unit to one indoor unit. A multi-split ductless system can connect one outdoor unit to up to five indoor units, depending on the indoor and outdoor model, letting you control the heating and cooling in several zones or rooms independently of each other. Where are ductless systems needed? A ductless system is a great solution for homes without a central heating, cooling system or when a room is added onto a house or an attic is converted to living space. Instead of extending the home's existing ductwork, a ductless system can provide efficient heating and cooling at a lower operational cost.